Following India's defeat against England in the ICC Men's T20 World Cup semi-final on 10 November 2022, several videos are being shared on social media platforms with claims related to a rematch between India and England. We check the veracity of these claims in this video. The first is a video that claims that even though India lost the semi-final, the Indian team has managed to reach the final by paying the International Cricket Council or ICC 25 crore rupees. But the final match of the tournament was held on 13 November 2022 between Pakistan and England, which the latter won. Also, there are no credible reports of such a transaction having been made between the Indian team and the ICC. The second video is being shared with the claim that former Pakistani cricketers like Shoaib Akhtar and Shahid Afridi have declared that England won the semi-final against India by cheating. But Times now reported Akhtar's statement that India did not deserve to meet Pakistan at the Melbourne cricket ground and Afridi tweeted praise for the English team and criticised India after the semi-final. There are no credible reports about Pakistani players accusing England of foul play. Another video is being shared with the claim that Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has demanded a rematch between England and India. But we could not find any media reports or official announcements to support this claim. The last video is being shared with the claim that ICC Chief Dave Richardson has ordered a rematch between India and England. According to the ICC website, Geoff Alardis is its CEO at present. Richardson stepped down as CEO in 2019. Also, there is no announcement of a rematch between India and England. To reiterate, the tournament has already ended and England has been declared the winner. As there is no truth to the rematch rumours between India and England, these posts are fake. When you come across a piece of news that seems too ridiculous to be true, don't leave things to doubt. Run searches on Google and Yandex and weigh out the true and false of the situation for yourself by looking at the facts. But first of all, before you hit that forward button, pause.